Hi and welcome to High on Coding. I'm your host Mohammad Azam, and in this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can create a small widget and display it on your ASP.NET MVC application. Usually, widgets are actually independent, so they don't have any direct link or any direct contact with the page itself. Okay, and in ASP.NET MVC, you can build your widgets using the render action, and that is what I'm going to do. So I have a page, it's called index.aspx, and you can actually see that I'm firing over here a render action command, home controller, and it's firing a method called latest stock updates. So let's go to the controller over here. Latest stock updates is right over here. What it's doing is just saying that, okay, stock service dot get me the latest stocks, and then display the latest stocks or send the latest stocks to the latest stocks control, that particular. And latest stocks control is basically a partial control or an user control, okay? But currently, if you go over there in the stock service.get latest, you'll see that there's nothing to return, okay? And I don't have any uh, live service of the stocks that is going to give me some, you know, real data, real-time data. So what we're going to do is just use a plain old XML file, which is right over here, as our stock service or as a provider of the stock data. So it has a name, price, and it has also a last price. Okay, so the last price was this, the new price or the current price is this, kind of like that. Now, let's see if I can, okay. So go to the stock service. Now I need to add some code over here. I already have some code. I'm just going to copy paste it. What it does is basically just goes to the file stock updates and it creates the stock object, return the stock list. Okay, pretty simple code that you will see. Okay, so now it's calling this particular get latest. So and now in, if I go to index.aspx, so it's going to render the action and should display some sort of a stock data. So how the data is displayed is dependent on you. Uh, if I go to my latest stock.aspx, you will, are going to see that I'm creating a table over here with a stock name and we have a if condition also over here that if the stock current price is greater than the last price, then I do want to add some styling or else I want to add a different styling and then we are just going to display the last price so it's stock name price and last price let's go ahead and compile this code go ahead and uh, refresh this page okay so right now it's throwing an exception saying that there is actually no stock data coming in the model so let's go over there and fix it so if i go over here in home controller okay and it's saying, let's just return, okay, and actually I need to put that. So we need to put this stocks equal to, oops. So what I'm going to do is put some data into the stocks view data. So my render action, the partial control, which is called latest stocks, can actually access it. Go over there and run it. So you're going to see that the stocks are being displayed right now. It's a name, price, and last price. If the price is greater than the last price, it's displayed in a green background. If the price, the current price, is less than the last price, it's displayed in a pinkish or red background. So what I want to do is I want to uh, poll my service again and again that if the stock price changes, it's go it should tell me that, uh, you know, should tell me over here which if it's going up or down. So for that, I have to go to my page, which is index, and I have to write some JavaScript to achieve that, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a function now, I am using jQuery in this case. If you have some other library that you want to use, you can use that. Not sure why would you ever do that when you already have a jQuery library. Okay, 
So now what I want to do is I'm saying over here uh, I should say div and latest stocks okay dot load and I want to invoke the action so which in, which in this case is home slash latest stock update okay now this load is actually going to make a request an ajax request and load this particular data okay into this div latest stocks div now where is that it's a good question let's go to our latest stocks and you are going to see that everything is contained inside a div latest stock divs uh latest stocks okay now if i go over here i'm just confirming that the name is same which it, it is now the final thing that i need to do is to call this method at regular intervals and this is pretty easy because all i need to do is to say window.set interval and now i can say what i want to fire and at what capacity i want to fire okay so i think that will be around 10 seconds i want to fire this method around 10 seconds so let's go over there refresh this page going to make this one smaller okay so now and hopefully you can see this what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this okay and as soon as i change it after 10 seconds this is this is going to get updated so let's go over there and say that it's price right now it's four dollars instead of 113 and now you're going to see that this will change to four and i think the color should also change to negative because here we go because if four is less than 15 okay now let's go ahead and change this one to like four or five dollars so it's much bigger than 2.98 so i'm going to change to five i'm going to save it and then you will see that this after 10 seconds is going to change to a uh, green color and same way we can do something like this let's say that it's changed to 100 and you can you know play around this with this uh and let's say that this price was like 500 and now it is like only 50 so you can see different actions actually going on over here as, as i'm doing i'm changing the file okay and you can see the changes are being made now of course if you go over here you can also see that the requests are going in here we go the requests are going in every 10 seconds and you can see the response and everything that is being sent back okay so that's pretty much it um i am going to write a detailed article on this hopefully it will be published today is uh 12th so i couldn't say 14th of december it will be published if you do have any suggestions uh any rants any comments feedback you can always and always email me at azam sharp at gmail.com and uh, just subscribe to the podcast subscribe to the article feed and always uh, visit highoncoding.com if you're looking for uh, looking to post your ad or something if you're looking for advertising opportunities you can always email me at awesomesharp at gmail.com thank you very much and i hope you enjoyed the screencast